Hello friend, now we will move further to see overview of JBPM. JBPM is Flexible Business Process Management, BPM, suite. It's lightweight, fully open source, distributed under Apache license, and written in Java. It allows you to model, execute and monitor business processes throughout their life cycle. Business process allows you to model your business goals by describing the steps that need to be executed to achieve that goal and the order, using a flow chart. This greatly improves the visibility and agility of your business logic. JBPM focuses on executable business process, which are business processes that contain enough detail so they can actually be executed on BPM engine. Executable business processes bridge the gap between business users and developers as they are higher level and use domain specific concepts that are understood by business users but can also be executed directly. This figure gives an overview of the different components of the JBPM project. JBPM can integrate with a lot of other services as, and we've shown a few using grade boxes on the figure, but here we focus on the components that are part of the JBPM project itself. The process engine is the core of the project and is required if you want to execute business processes. All other components are optional, as indicated by the dashed border. Your application services typically invoke the core engine, to start processes or to signal events, whenever necessary. An optional core service is the history log, that will log all information about the current and previous state of all your process instances. Another optional core service is the human task service, that will take care of the human task life cycle if human actors participate in the process. Two types of graphical editors are supported for defining your business processes. The Eclipse plugin is an extension to the Eclipse IDE, targeted towards developers, and allows you to create business processes using drag and drop, advanced debugging, etc. The web-based designer allows business users to manage business processes in a web-based environment. The Governor repository is an optional component that can be used to store all your business processes. It supports collaboration, versioning. There is integration with both the Eclipse plugin and web-based designer, supporting round-tripping between the different tools. The JBPM console is a web-based console that allows business users to manage their business processes, start new processes, inspect running instances, their task list and see reports. JBPM can integrate with a lot of other services as shown if you using grade boxes in the figure. The components indicated by the dashed border are optional. Now, we are going to look about core components of JBPM. Process Engine is the core of the project and is required to execute business processes. The application services typically invoke the core engine to start processes or to signal events whenever necessary. History Log is an optional core service that will log all information about the current and previous state of all process instances. Human Task Service is also an optional core service that takes care of the human task life cycle if human actors participate in the process. Governor Repository is an optional component that can be used to store all business processes. It supports collaboration, versioning, etc. JBPM Console is a web-based console that allows business users to manage their business processes, start new processes, inspect running instances, their task list and see reports. Two types of graphical editors are supported for defining business processes. Eclipse plugin which allows to create business processes using drag and drop, advanced debugging, etc. Web-based designer allows business users to manage business processes in a web-based environment. Thank you.